going to work for Solomon. Bring the extra life. You have to find for each other. Oh, yeah. Guys, the thing is, the number is going to change each time each year. So there's no way this would work. The number is going to change each year. It works for each other. Yeah, she's like. Uh, well, my favorite part about group work is that if you have a small question, you don't have to stop class and ask the teacher and everyone has to hear it if it's just like a yes or no question. You can just ask someone in your group and they have the answer really fast. And it's also like less pressure because they're your peers. You don't know what the value is. Yeah. Yeah. Are you sure it doesn't work for yeah. someone? Yeah. If you do, do 500 to the 15, I think you have to do 500 plus no, don't do 0.04 to the 15. <laughs> But some things that I don't like about it is that, well, if you're behind, like if, if you're the only one behind in the group, um, some like you feel bad because they all have to stop for you, but I guess that's everywhere you go. And also if you're ahead and you're the only one that's ahead, you have to wait for your group. That is also, also it's Okay, so Solomon's is. 500 to 50? Yeah. Uh, yeah. 500 to 1.04 to 50. Times 500. And also, one time we had to get graded, and she chose a random grade from our group, and she chose the worst grade. So then we all got a bad grade. So I don't know. It pushes you to work harder and to help your teammates, but at the same time, it's like one goes down, you all go down. So. Plus your um, interest, yeah. and then it just gives you that. Right? What's P? Yeah. So one point zero four. You by not knowing the principal plus interest all together. Oh yeah. Well, working with groups allows you and your uh, group members to come up with new um, strategies for tackling a problem. So if and you can share these ideas. So if someone discovers something new or an easier way to um, accomplish and complete a problem, they can simply just you know, translate that to the group, explain the concept, and then from there, everyone kind of understands what's going on. For example, yesterday, um, when we were working in compound interest, uh, I found a faster method or I made sort of like a new formula for completing compound interest, and it made sense in my head. But um, with uh, my group members, I, it was a bit trickier for them to understand it. So I think with group work, I was able to explain it better. Where Miss Hamzo, as well, she could have explained it, but I think it also takes less of her time trying to, you know, uh, solve these issues with or not issues, but help all the students. Whereas with with groups, just particular people can um, further go into depth about a certain concept. Wow, he can be certified to 1.04 feet. You don't know that this is. Did you get this? See, this is what I'm trying to say. Does that make sense? Yeah, that makes sense. Oh, because it's yes, because it's one plus one. Yeah, you get one point zero four. One point zero four feet. These are both like terms. Okay, P is one P. And this is. I think that it's important to make sure everyone understands the topic before moving on to the next question and especially when yeah someone else comes up with a different method for doing it it's important to figure out how these methods um, are different and which one may work better so um, I think my role in the group is also to make sure everyone's on task. No. So it's 500 for 500. 500. 500. 500. 500. 500. 500. 500. 500. Wait, no, so what do you have to do? Get to the first. So what we do this and then do the multiplication. Guys, no. So you what you did? Multiplication. Oh, you're right. You're right. It says PEMDAS. Yeah. Okay. I think that it's really important to participate. And so uh, yesterday, I think my role was probably. Um, probably working through the problems and solving alongside my other um, my other classmates. Okay. Because this equals to the. Okay. Let's see. If I say that, for a group to function well, um, especially in math, I think. Well, not necessarily in math, but in any subject um, for everyone's opinion or, 
or everyone's voice to be heard because if not, the, the group isn't really working collectively to find the answer. When you had, um, like, two, like for example, 2000, like 2000, you had 5% of 2000 is different than 5% of 2100. I think it's better in math class because in math it's always one answer. And if we were in like a history class or English, there'd be so many opinions. So we wouldn't be able to choose one and like decide on one or get one answer because you could argue different things, but for math, it's like you do it, you have to get this answer. Um, there are probably several ways of doing it, but you can only do it so many ways. So I really like how in math you get one answer. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry. Okay. That, oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So after three years, so now we can take this one, and now we can take one point zero eight one. Well, I find it really frustrating about group work if you really understand a subject and you really kind of want to excel at it or really progress and you, you're slowed down if someone doesn't understand and you have to explain and oftentimes you lose your patience and or, yeah, we get off topic. I think it's it's different in the sense that you're, you're, you're actually, you're learning a, like, I think you're learning the important part of math, which is there's multiple ways to reach the same conclusion. But at the same time, I think it takes a bit longer um, for to learn these concepts because you're constantly trying to help your um, group members. So it's nice um, in math class to have other people to refer to um, for your answers. And so if you are confused about a problem, you can feel comfortable to talk to them and all work together to solve it.